I've got the stick here. I lift it over my head. You block the stick. Oh, you know, you block the stick. And you hit, you, see? You hit the guy with the stick. And then he stops moving, and then you win. Ugh. This would make more sense if they fought with quarter staffs, but they fight with clubs and shields, and I fight with a giant battle axe. So why the hell, like... I don't get why we're training them this way. I, I understand that it would be weird if I train them with, like, giant battle axes, since they're not supposed to have giant battle axes, but when I recruit them, they have axes. Why are you using this crap? And, oh, you're smart. You're backing off. Oh, we found we found the good one in the party. All right. A little moderately going. Huzzah! Okay, being your opponent, explain to the peasants how to defend us against such an attack. Yeah. First you shoot him with the thirty-eight caliber pistol, then you take away his quarterstaff, thus disarming him. Ugh, oh, these people are idiots. I'm tired of fighting I'm I'm tired of training you people. This better be good. Yeah, um I'm over here, dude. You wanna come here and fight me? Yeah, I see that ended for you. Whoosh! As you're ready to continue the training, a sentry from the village runs up to shouting alarms. The bandits have been spotted on the horizon, riding hard for elder... Oh, the riders. That's not good. Basically, you uh, organize your newly trained militia to face them. Okay. Everybody hold this position. Hold this position. Stand closer. Absorb that initial cavalry charge. No, don't back away from him. Hit him with a stick! That was, the, that was our training was all about. In orders. Charge. Parry. Parry. Frost. Good! guys. Ooh, this is a skull for the skull throne! <laughs> uh. One! Yay! Praise corn. Oh, we didn't lose any of our guys. Three dead peasants, 23 dead bandits. Yeah, I'm taking as much as two. Screw you guys. I want to sell this crap. That is top priority stuff. And I'm going to recruit some volunteers. Okay. To replenish losses I didn't actually have. Alright, let's get out of here. So, the village of Audelin would both would have ha would have hated me, and then became to like me again. I had to tear, sell my stuff off, and then head it back over to Sargoth. <laughs> I'm not... I thought they were. I thought somebody was chasing me. No, I'm not chasing them. All right. Um, I'm gonna end the video here as I'm walking on my way to Tyr. Um, were you the guy I had to talk to? You're all Harad. Maybe you were. I'm gonna end on my video when I get to Tyr. Um, I kind of like Mountain Blade. I, it's 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 a sandboxy game, but you can do almost anything in it. I like it because there's an open-ended um, method of handling stuff in different styles for play. So I think it's kind of good for like a let's play game. Because all well, the same stuff is there. Different you 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 let's play in different ways. So let's go to the goods merchant. It's all this crap that I got. From everybody, just you put your knives. Oh, I sell my cheese. Uh, I have I have fresh cheese though. Uh, I'm not selling my wool because you have like buttloads of. Oh, it's salt. Do you have wool? You have buttloads of wool. I'm not going to sell you my wool. I will, however, sell you my honey. Get some serious cash out of that. And dried meat. 
in exchange for the dry meat, I will buy some smoked fish. And earn close to 500 dinars. Okay, let's take out the tavern, and then I'll... Because I've determined that there's nobody here. Oh, uh, farmer. What's the matter, my good man? Brigands take refuge in our village. They do everything we have, force us to serve them, and do much evil. Alright, we'll help, we'll help you with the village. Where is it? Kulum. Not far from here. Alright. When we come back next time, we're going to liberate the city, the uh, thing of Kulum. I will see you guys there. Adios.